The Cincinnati Bengals were ranked 28th in the power rankings at the start of last season, but surprised everyone by making the Super Bowl. And I believe that these three teams will surprise everyone in a similar way. The Panthers recently acquired 2018 Rookie of the Year and former Browns quarterback Baker Mayfield. One could argue that the acquisition of Baker creates a quarterback controversy in Carolina. However, I'm confident that Baker will beat out Sam Darnold for the starting job considering that the most impressive thing Darnold has done since his rookie season was get mono. I think Baker's a solid quarterback who can definitely provide the Panthers with some much needed on-field leadership. I also think that he'll be a solid mentor for rookie quarterback Matt Corral. DJ Moore will likely have a career year because he'll have a competent quarterback throwing to him for the first time since his rookie season. More importantly, Christian McCaffrey is healthy, which means that the Panthers, in theory, once again have a top five running back in the league who earned 1,400 yards and 15 touchdowns the last time he was healthy. In addition, the signing of Xavier Woods will help reestablish the Panthers' secondary after losing Stephon Gilmore, and Shaq Thompson returning from injury will help as well. I think that, unlike Cam Newton, the Panthers are back in the playoff discussion and will finish 10-7. The Colts traded Carson Wentz and upgraded to Matt Ryan, who, in my opinion, will be much better for the team, as long as the score isn't 28-3. Ryan was decent in Atlanta last season, and I'm confident that he'll orchestrate the Colts' offense without issue. Former All-Pro corner Stephon Gilmore will 100% bolster the Colts' secondary, despite having an injury-riddled 2021 season. And Pro Bowler Yannick Ngoku tallied 10 sacks last season with the Raiders, and will definitely help DeForest Buckner improve the Colts defensive line. I don't expect the Colts to re-sign T.Y. Hilton, which means that Michael Pittman Jr. will get more touches. He earned a thousand yards and six touchdowns with Nick Foles backup throwing him the ball, so I'm confident he'll post solid numbers with Mr. 28-3 and at quarterback. Jonathan Taylor earned 1,800 yards and 18 touchdowns last season, making him the second best running back in the league, behind only Derrick Henry, who he'll probably pass this year. If Taylor can stay healthy, the Colts won't have any problem finishing 11-6 while making the playoffs. The Patriots signed Super Bowl hero Malcolm Butler, who will dominate when teams decide to throw the ball on the one-yard line. Butler, along with Jabril Peppers and Terrence Mitchell, who were also signed, will help Devin McCourty improve the Patriots' secondary. With James White recently retiring, running back Damian Harris has secured the starting job in New England. He earned 930 yards and 15 touchdowns last season and will definitely produce better numbers this year with more touches. The addition of Devontae Parker will provide the Patriots with a solid option that can catch the ball. Unlike Aguilar, Parker, Hunter Henry, and Jacoby Myers are all versatile and will help the offense move the ball down the field. Trent Brown and James Ferentz were both re-signed and are excellent offensive linemen that will protect second-year quarterback Mac Jones. I like Mac and I believe he'll flourish with the offensive line, weapons, and coaching he's been provided. He threw for 3,800 yards and 22 touchdowns last season, and I believe that he'll surpass these numbers while leading the Patriots to the playoffs with an 11-6 record. Let me know which NFL team you think will surprise everyone in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, I would appreciate you leaving a like and maybe even hitting that subscribe button. And as always, much love, and I hope to see all of you in the next video.